What's up, you guys? It's Sunday morning. It's about 8.30 a.m. We're going to check out the Pinto bean truck. We're going to make sure everything's good with it, and we're going to take off. Yes, we're working on Easter, but that's all right. Got my uh, drink from Dutch Bros. Uh, this drink is actually called the 911. And I guess I got the large, so I guess this has like 460 milligrams of caffeine, which is crazy. Those Bang Energy drinks that I drink have 300, so I've never had anything higher than that. So, yeah, let's get out and check out the truck and make sure everything's good. So we're going to be heading up to Seattle today, and we're going to try to make it all the way. So the, the last couple times I've tried to turn on my truck, I have problems, so... We'll see today if it turns on. I turn off the batteries, so this should be good. Yes, sir. Yeah, so I must have to do something with the batteries because whenever I just take my 10 hours off, I have to truck off, so something must be draining the batteries or something. But I guess later on tonight when we stop, I'll just, Kill the switch down here, which is these over here, and yeah. So I'm here in Marysville, right? You see that sign on the right? Oh, you just missed it. It says 1310, but this trailer that I have is 14 feet high. So I almost damn near forgot that I had this trailer that's 14 feet high, and it could have been ugly right now because that bridge is 1310. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I probably could have made it through. Probably not. But you know what? I'm not trying to have a bad day today. And I see, like, I know this bridge. So I know a lot of people are always hitting it. But yeah, not today. But I almost forgot. Luckily, I could. I made a left on this street before I got to the bridge. Because the bridge is over there. See, 13 10. So I forgot to record, but last night we made it all the way over here to Seattle. And we just got done delivering. So it's about 8.30 right now. Now we're on our way to Portland, Oregon. We have two drops over there. Seattle, we only had seven pallets to drop off, so they did it pretty quick. And we got one pallet in Portland, Oregon, and then like six in another place in Portland. So that's where we'll be heading. Well, we'll probably catch some early morning traffic here in Seattle once we get on I-5 North, but we'll see. All right, so we just finished our third drop here in Portland, Oregon. Now we're gonna go ahead and go pick up to head to Southern California. But there's this bridge that we gotta cross. But it says nothing longer than 74 feet. And I'm pretty sure I'm 74 feet with a 53 foot dry van and a sleeper. So I should be good. But it's a scary bridge because it's super high. Try to get it on camera. Holy moly! Ah. Dude, if this bridge collapses right now, I am screwed. Because this shit is so high. And if you guys saw what happened in Boston with that bridge that collapsed, I'm definitely scared right now. I think this is probably like the highest bridge I've been on. I'm just being a baby right now, but. Oh my god!
don't gain anxiety. Boston Bridge that collapsed, man. That that's crazy. That is crazy. Come on, we're almost there. Come on. Ah! Okay, I think we made it. We made it. All right, so we are here at Georgia Pacific in Portland, Oregon. We are picking up a load. I guess it said something about a load of paper, about 20,000 pounds, but we will see. We got an appointment for 2 p.m. Right now it's 12.50 p.m. So let's get checked in at this guard shack. First time here. All right, so a little bit about this load. You needed like a 14 feet high trailer, which is perfect for what I have right now because remember I'm using this trailer so I got kind of lucky because it's pretty good paying load from Portland Oregon to Southern California I think it's Rancho Cucamonga so yeah so that's the only reason why I got this load because it was paying, paying pretty good because they needed a 14 feet trailer 117 inches high from the inside something like that so I went to go measure it just to make sure you know because it's not my trailer and yeah, it was good. So we got this load. Um, yeah, if we would have had our trailer, we would have been able to. But luckily we had this trailer. Even though I don't like it because it's 14 feet high. So I'm, I have to be more cautious with like bridges and stuff. And yeah, like like I'm saying, Monday I almost went out under a bridge. I was 1310. I was literally probably like 200, 300 feet away from it. But luckily I got to make a left turn and I had to... I don't know how to make like a big loop, whatnot, but yeah. All right, we're right, we're right here right now getting loaded. It's 1 p.m. All right, we're all loaded up with toilet paper. Tuesday morning, 7 a.m. and we stayed up top of Mount Ashland last night. We couldn't get very far. We used up our hours. And uh, yeah, we have to be in Rancho Cucamonga tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. But yeah, man, uh, I'm gonna go outside and check out the truck and see, make sure everything's good. All right, I made my first hundred dollars on YouTube. Let's go! Like 300 videos later. Actually, I don't even know how many videos I put out, but yeah, made my first hundred. Let's go. What am I gonna do with that hundred? Uh, probably buy coffee, energy drinks. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But if I had a little noises, I'd probably press that button that goes dee dee dee. Because we did it. We're finally making money, baby. But we are about to get to the yard right now. It's uh, it's gonna be, by the time we get to the yard, it's gonna be noon. We're probably gonna chill for like two, three hours and then head to Rancho Cucamonga. And yeah, that's that. Can't wait to get home. Can't wait to shower. Woo! Woo! My brother, uh, he was at home this morning. Found him a load picking up in Sacramento. And he's going to be heading to Kent, Washington. And before that, I told him to go get a truck wash because the Black Beast has not gotten a truck wash in a long, long time. This truck is going to need one soon, too. It, well, it needs one, but I'd like to wait at least a month just because, you know, we're not making that much money right now in trucking, so. If I could, I'll get one every two weeks, but yeah, too expensive. See you in about three hours. Alrighty, so we made it here to the yard. We're back. So, uh, yeah, it's about 3 p.m. right now. We're about to take off. Checked out the truck, everything was good, so that's good. You already know every time the truck is good. That's good, right? Because that's good, because there's nothing wrong, because that's good, which is good, which also means it's good, but it's not good Friday, which is a good Tuesday, but it's not even Tuesday, it's Wednesday, but really it is Tuesday. Right. Yeah, it's Tuesday, we gotta take this load, because if we don't, I gotta push a load of coke, but I don't wanna do that, because I don't know how. 
Everybody looks amazed. Wow. I want my pockets to get fat like a cow. Yeah, a little freestyle. Free, freestyle Tuesday. All right, so we're about to stop here in Lost Hills to fuel up. Um, yeah, our windshield's really dirty. Uh, you can't really tell on camera, but in person, yeah, I need to clean it up. We need to get some fuel. We're about halfway. But I always like getting fuel before go, before uh, getting into Southern California. Pretty much, I like getting fuel before the grapevine. Because it's way more expensive after that. And yeah, I'm hungry, so I'm trying to get myself a freaking quesadilla. And you know, over here in Lost Hills, there's this taco truck, I think it's called Silver Dollar. They have the best quesadillas. Quesadillas. So yeah, we're about to take the exit right now, actually. It's 278. All right, we're gonna park here for tonight. Pretty sure the entrance is over there. Uh, don't feel the best about parking right here, but those other trucks over there are parked on the side too, so we should be good. But if we get woken up in the middle of the night, we will just move. Good morning, good morning, you guys. It's barely Wednesday. So we got checked in. They gave us door 286. So that's what we're trying to find right now. We're barely at door 10. So they gave us door 286, but there's already someone there. Or there's a trailer there. Man, can't make this ish up, man. Well, let me go see if I can get, talk to someone in that door. Man, my camera sucks right now. Holy moly. Yeah, so I finally got a hold of somebody and told them that 286 already, it's already taken up. So we'll see what they tell us. So I guess they want us to go back to the guard shack. Oh man. And I guess that's what we're gonna do. You can't make this up. They gave us door 225 now, and there's a trailer there. So I've been here since six, and it's already like 6.40. And it's just been me going to doors, there being a trailer there. It's like, dude, what the heck? So now we have to go back to the guard truck and guard track and tell them. Crazy. All right, so we ended up getting unloaded over there in Rancho Cucamonga. They took about two hours. Got there at six. Uh, got out of there at eight. And uh, yeah, now we have to go drop off this trailer over here in Compton, California. But that's for next video. So see you guys. On the next one, don't forget to like, subscribe, peace out.